For one to truly understand the status of this political issue, one must ask the regular common person what they think. And that's why I'm here in the Rosedale Mall asking regular commoners what they think about this vital, important political issue. Do you think, you, would you like to get paid more and by how much? Um, I believe so because I work hard, probably maybe like nine twenty-five or nine seventy-five an hour. Probably about ten fifty an hour. That'd probably help cover gas more easily. Uh, I would say at least ten dollars in, in today's day and age. Yep. I think it should be around ten bucks. I think. Oh yeah. Okay. Uh, I think it should be. Sorry, maybe about twelve bucks. Uh, in Minnesota, I think that the minimum wage must be more than twenty dollars an hour just don't go up anymore from where it is now. But in a uh, macro perspective, I believe that there's, it's worse for the economy for companies who have to pay higher minimum wages because that offset expense is going to reduce jobs elsewhere or reduce money going back into the economy. So as a whole, I think it will actually falter more. Do you think it should be up to the federal government to choose a national standard for the minimum wage, or do you think it should be left up to the states? I think it should be to the states. Oh yeah. I agree. I think it should be, like as it is now, depending on the federal government, what the base minimum wage is, but then a state should be able to set it higher, like California did. I'm a bigger fan of the state. Uh, I think the federal government has enough control. I think more uh, control should be left to the state and less to the government. Left up to the states. Um, it should be a national thing. I think it should all be equal. I think federal would be good. Do you think it's fair for like full-timers to get paid more like two dollars an hour than part-timers because they work more? No, because they're probably putting in the same, the same type of work, so should we be paid for the same amount of hours? I think there needs to be some benefit for people that work full-time because they are putting forth more hours, they're putting forth more energy. Um, you know, it's more sacrifice with their family life or home life or whatever else. So I think there should be some compensation for working more hours. No, I don't think it's uh, yeah, fair I think it should be evenly out, you know. Yeah. yeah, it doesn't matter what, how many hours you work, you know, so. I agree. Yeah. yeah. In a way, yeah, because they work all the time and they deserve it. You know, that's hard, because if you're a high school student, sure. I think you can, I think $8 is plenty. If you're an adult with a wife or family or kids or, you know, dependents, I think, you know, 12 would be about the minimum for, you know, standard of living. But there again, you know, I, I, I think there needs to be a separation between, you know, what a high schooler makes versus, you know, an adult. If you got paid more, would you be working harder or would you still work about the same? Well, I'm always a hard worker, so I'll be working the same. That's a good answer. Yeah, but I think it's all up to the person itself. Mm, if I got paid more, I'd probably work harder because I know I'm getting more money, so. Okay.